Here's Papa. Hello, 45 Elva Charlie Papa channel. And today, um, if you've seen some of my earlier videos, I have had some ignition problems with hard primers with my Ruger Red Hawk. Now I've get it to uh, run 100%, uh, usually if I'm using Remington ammo. Um, however, in my reloads, as long as I run Federal primers in it, uh, everything's fine. But if I try to use like a Winchester primer or some hard, little bit harder primer, I tend to get some uh, failure to uh, ignite uh, some light strikes. So today we're going to install from Bowen Class and Arms Corporation a well we're going to go with the 30 pound spring today there's a 30 pound and a 40 pound spring in here the spring the hammer spring in here is a 20 pound spring so we're going to see if we can't go a little bit heavier spring uh, get a little bit better ignition with uh, some of the harder primers to try to make this 100% with just about every anything I put in it um, so we're going to go ahead and get this taken apart and swap the spring out with the yellow one here that is the 30 pound and if that doesn't work we can go up to the 40 pound but let's go ahead and get started now if you've got one of these hoe grips on here and you're wondering how the heck do those things come off i've kind of gone over a video with that because they're on there really good i mean you're not going to pull those off now we will check we are empty but you're not going to pull these grips off um when everything's dry they're just a friction fit but to put them on, Hogue tells you to use Windex. So we're going to use a little Windex, put it down here in the, uh, a few squirts down here. In the serial number hole, let that kind of work its way in there. be a bugger today huh? let it sit for a few and we need to get a little bit more in there it's got to be going somewhere it's it's dripping out the bottom here so that should be good enough to get this thing Oh, there we go. Just kind of takes a little bit of work to get everything pulled down and get those clamps to release. Like the grip, but it's a pain to get on and off. There we go. Now, what you're trying to do is get a little bit of lubrication on these points here. It doesn't look like I got much on there, but we did get it off. It was. Uh, a little tough to get off another thing you can do dip it in some warm soapy water that tends to work a little better that's what i did on the video um, i thought i'd just try it just using the windex and uh didn't work out as well as i'd hoped but we did get it off so without destroying the grip i can put it back on move these two little spacers and we're going to change out this spring right in here The first thing you need to do is cock it. I've got a little okay I got a punch here that I can get in this hole. I tried using a uh, three penny nail but it was a little bit too big. The original grips come with a little pin. Um, I've got the original grips but for some reason I'm not finding the pin so go ahead and stick that in there. Go ahead and lower your hammer and that's going to make things kind of loose um, you can pull your pin here get our trusty dust trusty magnetic tray here put the parts in pull our hammer out well, you can see me fumbling around a little bit with this and the intent of this video is this is my first time doing it so as you do it yourself you may come into these problems now i can probably switch this spring out now in about five maybe ten minutes uh, it wouldn't take me very long to do 
now that I know how it works, how everything goes together. Uh, but you know, as your first time, you may fumble through it a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Just keep, uh, you know, keep chugging along, keep trying. There we go. Got our hammer out. She needs cleaned. It shot quite a bit. Pull this pin out here. Work this out. There we go. This is the spring right here that we need to change. See how hard it is to put some pressure on that. And slowly lift that off. There we go. Take the factory spring out. Get the yellow one, that's our 30 pound. Make sure you get this orientated right. Okay, we are back on there. Fish this through here again. Just a note, on these springs you'll notice there's a tighter wound coil on one end than there is the other. You want to make sure that you put the small end over the strut. Pin. cloth here let's just go ahead and clean this hammer up from some of the carbon that's built up on there from the shooting um, at this point i can try to polish out this uh the sides of this hammer a little bit uh, i'm just going to go ahead and put it back in here for now uh, that's something i can do at a later date get this in here try to get it up hook back around Tell I don't have this thing apart a whole lot. All right, we got our hammer situated where we want it there. Get it back over here. Run our pin through. I don't have something quite where it's supposed to be yet. Something's binding up. There we go. Trigger got moved forward a little, or back a little bit. Now we should be able to get this in here properly yeah yeah there we go just gotta play with it that's part of uh 
playing with this stuff if it's something you haven't done a lot of uh, just kind of playing with it making sure everything's working you don't force things doesn't feel right go back and try again okay we got our hook back in there get our hammer situated back in here where it belongs get the fall into place Yeah, you know, something's still not in the right spot. There we go. Now everything's lining up. That sounds a little like it's hitting a little harder. Uh, effect, effects of the trigger, negligible. I don't really feel much of a difference pound wise, but it sounds like that hammer hitting a little harder. So we're in the COVID-19 right now. Right now my local ranges are closed, but uh, it's just a matter of putting these little inserts back in here, hitting them with a little Windex inside here, sliding this back on, and we're ready to go out and test. Um, I think I'm going to play around with this a little bit more. I may do go ahead, since I can't shoot it today, um, do some polishing of the hammer and stuff like that. But that's how you change your spring out in your Ruger Red Hawks to the Bowen Classic Arms higher power spring. Pretty simple uh, operation. This is 45 Alpha Charlie Papa Channel. Uh, in a month or so, when the range finally opens up, we'll take this out and, and te test it out on the Harvard Harder Primers. So keep an eye out for that video, and I am out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.